Hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and in today's video we will discuss conditional display of visual. Now in Power BI we can hide and show visual using bookmarks but bookmarks we can't put a condition like you know if there are certain action like say if everything is selected or nothing is selected then don't show the visual when at least one value is selected then show or only when show visual when one value is selected. These kind of stuff is little bit challenging. Uh, when you have the power bi visuals now but we can do little bit of that tricking and messaging around that by playing around with few things like is filtered has one value has one filter all these can be used and then we can do some tricky things around uh, these things and then we can actually have some messaging done so let's explore these things today so first of all let's jump and do first thing that you know we want to do achieve if nothing is selected then don't display or display only when one value is selected okay so let's bring in uh, visuals first of all so i bring a brand visual and i'm not adding any major to it right now then let me bring a category visual and then let me bring in the brand as a slicer so i'm going to bring brand as a slicer here now what happens when you filter then based on that the things will keep on changing here now they are from the same dimension otherwise what we can do we can have a major also now we can go and add a major so now if there is no value for that major also that's another place where the data will go away now you can select something and then based on that it is behaving now what i want here is basically if nothing is selected then don't show me okay so now don't show me is not possible we can make the data of the visual as blank okay so we can make the visual data blank and for that what we are going to use we are going to use is filtered so we go here and we say is filter let's say one and we simply use is filtered item brand now I do is filtered item brand I got this major and I place it here to check what happens so it's true and then that that's where uh, we, we have to understand and that's why the knowingly I have kept this one now what happens is no value selected is still this is, is filtered is true here because of the row context row is having a brand value and this is filtered because of the row and it is showing is true now if I filter this one it is true because it is filtered you can see the grand total is also showing filtered and this is category is showing true because brand is filtered even if I select two values three values four values it's like this when I clear it is not is filtered nothing is filtered so now my challenge is I can work with category but I can't work with brand so first let's handle that challenge so we want to work with category we don't want we want to work with brand also so I create is filtered too and here we, what I say is calculate comma all selected means do it on the all selected values not all values all selected value now I bring in this one now you see this is actually false okay let me create a little bit more space here now this was as expected false but this is also false now if I start selecting one value true two value true three value true four value true okay so now we have correct true and false value so now what we can do is now in this visual what I can do here is this visual let me go and say okay when is filtered to now let me go and do little bit of change I am I will go to this filter and make it as an integer okay int so it will become 1 and 0 now I go here in this visual the first visual and I say is filtered is 0 is 1 means show it only when it's 1 so now it is not showing the visual when it is not 1 and I don't need these two as a members actually if I if required I can remove those so now this is not showing okay now same thing can be done here so you can go and say is filter equals to 
is one and you can say apply so it will not come now comes the interesting part now can i show a message here can i show a message here what kind of message i want to show i want to show a message basically that there is no data or please select a value sometime you ask to show a message no data sometime you ask to show a message which is that there is no data so let's do one thing let's bring in a text box for that and write down here select one value make it a little bit smaller now what i need to do is i need to bring it on this one and after that select the other one go to format and say bring it in front so if i click outside i should not see that text box that's the key so now i'm not seeing that text box now how do i make it so we have something known as transparent color and we would like to use that transparent color so right now the background is not visible so it's not visible if i click here you can see that it's not visible so we are going to create a filter color or trans color color transparent okay now how do we create this color so we say if is filtered to equals to zero so is filtered equal to zero then we have to say so if it is zero then we want to show that message or is it one when we want to show the message when it is zero then we are not displaying it. we are only displaying it for one so when it is zero we want to show the message so we say hash f f f f f f zero zero six time f and two zeros okay now what's the other color now other color should be my background color or i can leave it blank so let's try with blank actually and then we will give a background color of white or something okay so we got this one so we got a transparent color if it is zero if it is one now let's go to this visual here and then we go to general effects background in the background we choose this conditional formatting field formatting in the field let's select for color it should be a text major then only it will use it okay so now let's now what's happening here the message is not getting displayed everything is right the setup is right everything is right is filtered is true we go to background color and it is true and now let me do one thing here let me remove this so when this transparent color is filter did not work out what i've done i looked through the internet what are the various alternate uh, is that or what is there something wrong we are doing which is not making it work and i came across a way from matt uh, in a blog for which i am going to give you a link uh, into the description below uh, that you know uh, let's make the background color as transparent and non transparent and let it be visible through the uh, visual so that approach i'm going to try out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert a shape let's say rectangle then let's go to the shape property and go to the style and make this fill as null then go to the text and uh, switch it on let's make a text as let's say select a value okay and let's make this color let's say white so that it is visible let's make increase the font little bit fine we can make it little bit smaller the shape okay and now what we are going to do is we don't need this color basically we need to good give this transparent color but transparent color is reverse so if it is zero then i need this is ff and but if it is non zero then i need it to be visible so i want it to be uh, visible when it is zero so it should be visible when it is zero and it, so it should be visible and then if i make it something like this selection then it should not be visible so we want this action so now what we are going to do is we are going to have the color change for this one so we go to the fx font color and here we need the color uh, the transparent color 
so we need to go to the field value the transparent color okay now what we need to make sure when we are doing the transparent color we have to reverse this okay so this should be when more than one values are selected this should be fff and then when the old now value selected this should be transparent now if i unselect this will be there now there is still a border so we have to make sure that in the effects there is no shadow and there should not be any border and all those visual border is off shadow is off go to the shapes style shadow off glow off border off okay now put this behind take this out now put this behind say this is bring in front now click here now select a value select more than one value okay so filter is problem is this with each filter but has one value has one filter doesn't have that kind of problem they actually work when you have that filter as well as the transparent color 